today's topic is about regulation of genes by repression mechanism so how the different genes are regulated with the help of that repression that we will look so excess product of a pathway or any metabolic pathway shuts off the synthesis of the key enzyme of the pathway simply all that key enzymes are the protein in nature and they are produced with the help of transcription and translation and these protein synthesis will be controlled with the help of repression mechanism simply the end product that is controlling the key enzyme so here best example for this repression mechanism that is heme synthesis pathway is explained so ala synthase is the key enzyme of heme synthesis pathway so heme that is important part of the hemoglobin and this heme is under control of this key enzyme ala synthase and this ala synthase is produced with the help of ala synthase producing gene so there is a structural gene for the ala synthase already we have seen that before the structural gene that particular area of the regulatory gene for this particular ala synthase promoter gene and operator site for the ala synthase is available so first rna polymerase that is generally attached over the promoter gene or promoter area of this ala synthase and once it is attached then it will go on to the structural gene and particular heme will be synthesized now here heme when it is synthesized it is also controlling molecule it is one type of controlling molecule for the heme synthesis also so but before that heme is alone is not able to work first regulatory gene of this ala synthase that is producing particular mrna and with the help of that mrna aporepressor molecule is generated this aporepressor molecule that is combined with the corepressor so apo plus co that will make a hollow repressor molecule so aporepressor which is produced by this mrna corepressor which is produced by the structural gene so corepressor that is simply a heme molecule and these two combine and make a hollow repressor this hollow repressor attach over the operator site once it is attach over the operator site this rna polymerase which is needed for the heme synthesis that is not able to go further over the structural gene so corepressor or heme molecule will not be synthesized so ultimately heme synthesis will be stopped so that is particular regulation of the heme synthesis now oppositely when low level of heme is there then again this corepressor is not present so hollow repressor will not be generated then again this rna polymerase will work and again heme synthesis will be continue so in detail transcription of structural gene controlled by regulatory gene so it produce a aporepressor molecule which binds with the heme so and becomes a active hollow repressor so here heme is acting as a corepressor molecule hollow repressor binds to the operator site this operator site that once it is attached over the operator site stop the transcription of the particular structural gene so upstream of this structural gene operator and promoter site is there that already we have seen in the picture now once that rna polymerase attach at the promoter site and start mrna synthesis the operator site is between promoter and structural gene so when rna polymerase reaches at the operator site if hollow repressor is present then this rna polymerase cannot move further so enzyme synthesis stop and heme synthesis slower down on the other hand when heme or corepressor is not available or heme is decrease inside the cell or in the body when there is a need of the heme molecule then what happen therefore repression corepressor molecule is not present so hollow repressor molecule will not be synthesized so repression is not effective and enzyme synthesis will be start again with the help of rna polymerase so simply that the heme synthesis is auto regulated by repression mechanism so here one condition that you have to correlate with this repression mechanism thalassemia is a important condition related to the abnormality of hemoglobin is a condition when normal hemoglobin chain are produced in a abnormal ratio so normally alpha and beta chain is there in adult hemoglobin when alpha chain synthesis is blocked due to a mutation on the promoter region so what happen there is a comp compensatory increase in beta chain synthesis as alpha chain is mutated alpha chain is not synthesized so beta chain will compensatorily increase synthesis or more is produced instead of this alpha to beta to combination for normal hemoglobin an abnormal beta 4 combination is seen in the body so if thalassemia is there alpha chain is mutated as a compensatory excessive beta chain is synthesized so normal hba that is containing alpha 2 beta 2 chain instead of that beta 4 chain is seen 
so that is also explained with the help of this repression mechanism so simply with the help of this ala synthesis example you can understand about the repression mechanism so repression is basically for the control of key enzyme with the help of end product of the pathway so that's all about the repression mechanism